Hey everybody, Ace here. I would like to introduce to you the new member of the family, Titan. Titan is a Tibetan Mastiff. And when you hear that, you might think of this. But realistically, they more look like this. Titan has been a planned purchase for our family since October of 2020, a couple months after my wife and I lost our last dog, Talon. Now don't worry, I'm going to get into how much Titan costs later on in the video. I'm also going to go over the startup costs of owning a dog, what it was for our little boy Titan here, and then the lifetime costs of owning Titan. We realized that our second dog, Tempest, yes, I know, we have a lot of teeth things going on with our dogs here. She was a lot more sad and a lot less energetic after Talon passed away. So we did our research on the breeds we wanted to buy, and then we did even more research on the breeders we wanted to get those breeds from. We budgeted to see how much we actually wanted to spend on, our, on that breed, and then we ended up making the decision on which we wanted to purchase. And that's how we ended up with this cutie, Titan. We picked up Titan about three weeks ago from our breeder. We met her halfway, which is about an hour and a half away from where we are to get him, which means we only had to drive about an hour and a half back home to pick up this little cutie. And Titan was an absolute champ in the car ride going back home. When we got home, the first thing we did was introduce him to our dog Tempest, and that introduction went fantastic. After that, we started to familiarize him with our home. Animals and pets are an amazing thing to have. They're cuddly, they're cute, they're fun to have around, they teach responsibility, they can help with depression, all around wonderful things. Now let me get down into the financials of how much Titan costs and what the startup costs are of owning a dog, and then finally, how much it's gonna cost to own Titan throughout his lifetime. We paid $6,000 for Titan. And if you're thinking, is that the best financial move to make? Well, if you're considering nothing else in life, then obviously, no, it's not. That $6,000 would generate a fantastic return in the stock market over the next 30 years. But obviously, there are way more benefits to owning a pet than just the financial benefits. And most likely, the cost of buying a puppy or a new dog is going to be anywhere between $500 and $2,000. $6,000 is on the high end of a pet, but it really depends on what type of breed of dog you want. Now, Titan was $6,000, but that is not the only expense when owning a dog. There are a variety of other things you need to purchase when you get a dog or a puppy. I'm going to go over as many as I can think of and the costs associated with them. Starting off with food and treats. A bag of food for Titan is about $50 a bag. And that's not just a one-time purchase. That is for the rest of his life. On top of treats, could be for training or rewarding, and that's about $5 a bag. Again, for the rest of his life. Then you're gonna have cleaning supplies. About $25 for the Resolve and the urine cleaner. And that might be a multiple time purchase too, depending on how often your dog has accidents in the house. And then you're probably gonna have to have a crate for your dog to sleep in, which my crate was $125. I don't recommend having your dog sleep outside a crate because they could get destructive. And then you might need to have a bed for your crate or just a bed for your dog to sleep on because you don't always want them sleeping on the hard floor or your couch. So the bed we got for Titan was about $30 and he's gonna outgrow this eventually. So it's gonna have to be upgraded again in the future. You're gonna need a collar for your dog and a leash so you can take them outside or take them for walks. The collar we bought Titan is $5 and the leash was $15. Now this is also gonna to have to be upgraded because he's gonna outgrow it. So this is a multiple time purchase for the collar, not the leash. And then you're gonna to have toys for the dogs. As many toys as you want to buy. We get our toys from Home Goods, so they're on discount, anywhere between $3 and $10. And it depends on how many toys you wanna to buy for them. We've bought Titan about five toys to start off with. So that's gonna be about 40 bucks. You might also want to invest in a gate or some sort of baby gate to keep your dog out of a certain area. We bought this one for $30. Now moving into the bigger expenses, starting off with the vet bill. Our vet did a first round checkup and shots up for Titan for $225. He's gonna need three more of these, totaling the startup cost for about $900. But he'll also need an annual checkup from our vet. 
And then you'll have medications for your dog. About annually, you at least need a flea, tick, and heartworm prevention, which is gonna be roughly $150. And then another thing you might wanna consider is training for your dog. My wife and I decided to get Tempest trained after she put her head through the car window of my wife's Prius. After that happened, we thought, mm, we need to train that dog because she's a little rambunctious. That training costs us $1,500, worth every single penny. You might be able to get away with not training a smaller dog, but since our Bernice Mountain Dog is 125 pounds and Titan, a Tibet Mastiff, could be anywhere from 120 to 150, it's better to get them trained so they don't bulldoze or through people when they need them. And then you'll wanna keep money on the side for an emergency vet visit, just in case something happens to your dog, like they eat something they shouldn't or they hurt themselves and you gotta take them into the vet. I keep about $500 in an emergency fund just in case this happens with our dogs. A couple other things you might need to consider could be classes. It could be training classes or puppy classes for socialization. We elect to do puppy classes for our dog. So Titan is gonna do two months worth of puppy classes and that's about $300. Another thing to consider might be a pet sitter or a dog walker, especially if you're not working from home and you're away all day at work, it would be great to have a dog walker come over, let your dog out so it can continue its potty training as well as walk it around so it's not cooped up in the crate all day and it can release some of its energy. That could cost anywhere from $25 to $50 a day. And lastly, boarding or pet sitting again, if you ever wanna go on vacation, you're gonna to need to put your dog somewhere. So if you don't have family members or friends that want to take your dog, you're gonna to have to figure out where your dog could go for that time frame you're on vacation. This costs us about $50 per night when my wife and I wanna travel. There might be some other things on that list that I didn't think of, but that's already a decent amount of stuff. So all in, the total startup cost of owning Titan is $10,000. That's $6,000 from the initial purchase and then $4,000 from the list of stuff I just previously went over, with the biggest expenses being the training, which will be about $1,500, and then all of the vet visits. So if you're thinking about owning a dog, make sure you take into consideration everything I went over in this video to figure out how much it's actually gonna cost you to own that dog. That's just the startup cost of owning Titan. But what's it gonna cost to own him throughout his lifetime? Because this breed is supposed to live to at least 12 years old. Well, I did the math for you. So let's go over it. Projecting that Titan's gonna live to the minimum age of this breed, which would be 12 years old, Titan would cost roughly $24,000 all said and done after those 12 years. Let me break that down for you. So the initial cost of buying him and everything I went over is $10,000. Now, let's say he eats one bag of food per month for the next 12 years. That's $7,200. Also, we go through one bag of treats for him every month for the next 12 years. That's $720. We had the initial cost of the crate, but as he gets older, we're gonna have to buy a second crate, a second collar, a second dog bed, and a handful of toys. Let's just say 30 toys throughout those 12 years. That's gonna be about $560. Then you've got the vet visits. The initial vet visits, which was $900 for startup costs, on top of one vet visit every year for 12 years. That's looking at about $2,000. On top of the flea, tick, and heartworm meds every year for 12 years, that's gonna be about $1,800. Then let's just say there's four emergency vet visits costing $500 a piece. So that's about $2,000 over the course of 12 years. That totals the roughly $24,000 it costs to own Titan from when we got him to 12 years old. So if you've been on the fence about getting a dog and financially has been the biggest reason holding you back, maybe you shouldn't get a dog because $24,000 over the course of 12 years is a lot of money. Think about what that could do compounding in the stock market for you. But as I've said before, there's many other fantastic reasons to owning a dog or any pet by that matter, which outweighs the financial aspect of it. So if you're thinking about purchasing a pet anytime soon, make sure you run through the numbers and that you're actually budgeted to be able to afford that pet. Because the worst thing to do would be to get a pet and then have to give it away because you can't afford it anymore. And that's gonna be it for this video. That is my $10,000 dog, the startup cost for owning a dog, or the total cost it might cost you to own a dog. 
If you like this video or you think Titan is the cutest puppy you've seen today, please just to tap that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe for more content below and I really hope to see you in the next video.